Okay, this is podcast number three in what will be a series of five podcasts by the time we're done on naming ionic compounds, and covalent compounds will be the last part of that. Uh, and today we're going to be throwing in the polyatomic ions, and these are ions that are nonmetals that are covalently bonded together that have a net positive or a net negative charge. And the example we're going to be using today is nitrate, NO3 minus. So these are two nonmetals, so nitrogen and three oxygens that are bonded together, and, and as a compound or as a, as a unit, they have a net negative one charge, and this is called, again, nitrate. Okay, and they're pretty easy to use in naming, but the problem is you need to have them memorized, and I'm sorry, but there is no easy way to, to go through it. You have to start now. Um, there's a list attached in the packet, so start going over them, make flashcards, make a game, do something to start getting them memorized because you're going to see these a lot and you need to have them memorized and you're going to struggle if you don't. Uh, but pretty much naming with polyatomics is exactly the same as what we've done before. So the, the compound that we're going to look at the first part here is NaNO3. Right? And just like with binary compounds, the cation will keep its name, so this is sodium. And in this case, the polyatomic ion, and these are all anions except for one, and I'll come back to that in just a minute. But the polyatomic ion keeps its name too. There is no suffix you need to add. So we have an NO3 here. This is called nitrate. Okay, and when you take these and you put them together into the compound name, we get sodium nitrate. Okay, very, very simple. Uh, so again, knowing your cations, and if this were a transition metal, you would need your Roman numeral here. Um, but again, to be able to do this well and to do this correctly, you need to know your polyatomic ions. Um, and it does not become a nitride. Okay, nitride is N3 negative. Okay, not, not this. So this just keeps its name. That's why you have to know those ions. And then again, we need to make sure that the compound is electrically neutral. Okay, so if I just got this name, so let's bring this down here, sodium is a plus one charge, nitrate, NO3, is a negative one charge, plus, minus, they, they check out, one to one ratio works. If it weren't electrically neutral, let me show you an example. So let's say we have magnesium. Uh, we'll use nitrate again. Okay, magnesium is a group two metal, which means it's a Mg2 plus. And nitrate, uh, we've been looking at it's right here. This is NO3 negative. And we need to show that this entire thing is the ion. So when you are doing a flip and switch, okay, so the two plus comes down and the, th the negative comes over, this will become magnesium. We just need one of them, and then we need multiple groups of the nitrate compound. And so we put it in a parentheses, and we get NO3, which represents the negative one, but we have two of those total. So you need to use parentheses, and if you're not quite sure how to use them in whatever you're naming or whatever you're doing the formula for, just uh, raise your hand and ask me or shoot me an email and I will make sure or I'll help you make sure that you're doing this correctly, okay? So polyatomic ions are even easier really than the binary compounds except for the fact that you just have to know their names and you need to memorize them. So get going on that today and we'll be talking about this as we go.